I'm really thrilled to be here with uh, Norm Dick. Norm is speaking to me from just outside Toronto in Canada. He's the mission minister for the Mennonite Church of Eastern Canada and the team leader of Innovate. Innovate is Eastern Canada's answer to our Kairos connection, helping to catalyze a movement of missional discipleship. And Kerry and I have had the great pleasure of working with Norm, his wife Rose and their team over these recent years, and they've become great friends of ours. Norm, we're thrilled to be journeying with you. It's great to have you with us on this call as we think about the big question, the question that lies behind the question. This is a defining moment. So what is that defining question? Well, thanks, first of all, for the invitation to, to be a part of this. And I, I think it's a great question uh, to wrestle with, with what, what is the next normal? And I, and I like to use that, that term. It comes from the Harvard Business Review. They were talking about in the business world, what is the next normal as far as the, as opposed to the new normal or going back to normal? And I, I, I sense that the, the question that, that we are going to be faced with most significantly is what is the expression of faith? What is the expression of the church in the local, in the, in the, the neighborhood? Um, what, what is Jesus calling us to in our local spaces? I think the importance of the nuclear family has become so incredibly highlighted over the last year, whether that's the both the blessings and the challenges of that. And so the, the relationship tensions that exist within the nuclear family, the smaller uh, family connection, but it also is, it hi, it's highlighted uh, how significant our neighborhood connections can be or are uh, in our ongoing mental health, our own ongoing just ability to, to be uh, a people of faith. And so to, to, to ask the question of what is it that Jesus is calling us to in our local space, in our neighborhoods, uh, on our street, and to, to really lean into that space and to, to wonder with God. So what is it, what is the, what does church look like in this space? Uh, and I'm not saying that that's going to be a space where we, where we say the, the, the established or structured church is dismantled and gone forever, but it's, it, it becomes uh, a focus on the edge um, and, and, the, and the center resourcing that edge and saying, so what, what does it mean for us to be on mission, to be the church, to be engaged in our local neighborhoods and, and to begin to speak in that space? And I think within that comes then this larger question of how does the church respond to the social issues of the day? Uh, in our in our context right now, I mean we're we're uh, hearing news again of another young black man, you know, um, killed in a in a police stop. And even though that's in the United States, it affects the conversation for us in Canada as we think about how does the church respond to these issues of systemic racism and social injustice that are so prevalent um, within our within our society. And I think it begins at that local grassroots neighborhood level as to what is what is my relationship with my next door neighbor, with my, you know, my Hindu neighbor on the other side, with the, my atheist or agnostic neighbor on the other side. It's it's that if I have if I have a deeply committed connected relationship with them that already begins to tear down stereotypes and and uh that that sort of racial injustice that's systemic within society and and begins to shift my lens in the way that I relate with the people all around me and so so for me that that's a change the significant change for me is from a global perspective to a very local very locally focused, very locally oriented perspective, which will then in turn impact our global perspective. But, but a, a return back to what's here, what, what's, what's next to me, what is, what is Jesus calling me to in this neighborhood space? That's uh, uh, such a thing I think we would uh, resonate with with you, Norm, as we listen in to what you're sharing. Uh, many of us have discovered uh, discovered our neighbours, has mm -hmm. discovered mm -hmm. our streets and the communities around us right. over these last 18 months, and, uh, and perhaps with fresh eyes, seeing them as places where God's uh, uh, mm -hmm. called us. Perhaps uh, you could just give one or two kind of tips or thoughts as to how we might just begin to step into that a little bit more yeah. as things uh, as things loosen up I, I think the the uh, the principle of the people of peace and in simply being open to and, and praying about God like who are you leading me to who are who are you who have you prepared 
uh, for me to, to, to be walking alongside. And that's not a new idea, but I think it comes with, with a fresh perspective in a time where we have spent a lot of time at home in our, in our neighborhoods, in our, on our streets, uh, and, and, within the space of the last year and cultivating that relationship, God, who are you preparing for the next step of relationship? Who, who should I be attentive to? Who, who are you bringing to my heart? Um, who are you bringing to my mind as I, as I need to think about and process together? I, and, and then this, the second piece of that is what, what do I need to prepare in my own home with my, within my own family in order for this to happen? Are there practices, are there rhythms, are there things that we want to put in place now? Because as lockdowns end, as restrictions come to an end, that the, the, the push to return to what was will be there. Uh, even though we all recognize that what was there is gone. That, that, that old normal doesn't exist anymore. And we're living into this next normal, we're living into a new reality. Uh, and what what does that mean within our rhythms, within our patterns, within our family life, within the way in which we relate to, to the people right around us? I'm reminded of uh, the words of Jesus translated by Eugene Peterson, Jesus moved into the neighborhood. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Norm, for bringing that yeah. to us in such yeah. uh, with such clarity. It's great to chat with you. God bless you. This has been great. Thank you.